if you're going to spend the time to do it, try to make it, you know, different. I mean, not, I'm not saying like, just go out of your way to make it sound wacky and weird and totally different. But like, if the, if there's an intention to explore that intention, you know, if you're trying to intimidate somebody and the line is, I'm going to, I'm going to fuck your ass, right? I mean, <laughs> there's there's numerous ways that you can intimidate somebody and say the line um, that aren't just like, I'm going to fuck your ass. I'm going to yeah. fuck your ass. I'm going to fuck your ass. No, I mean, those are all basically the same. Those are basically all the same take. You know what I mean? It's just there's yeah. a little bit of a pacing thing or something, but it's like, I'm going to fuck your ass. You know, like there's, there's you can say it like, I'm going to. Fuck your ass! You know, like, I don't know. I just, there's, I don't know. I, I think that that kind of variation is important. And it's just good practice in general. It is. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Depending on how you said that is different levels of threatening towards my ass. Like, I feel that. Yeah. I get what you're and maybe, saying. maybe the character, maybe the way the character says it is like super dead. Like, just like, I'm going to fuck your ass. You know, like, it's just. <laughs> That's creepy. That's threatening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. But it's still the intent. The intent is to intimidate. But how how are you going about it? You know, and obviously that's going to be based on the character. It's going to be based on the circumstances and based on whatever the director says they need. That, that's that's some good advice because, you know, for any new voice actors out there, that that is a common occurrence where they're just like, "I'm gonna fuck your ass. I'm gonna fuck your ass. I'm gonna fuck your ass." Okay, choose the best one. But yeah. switching up and very and having different variations. The way you enunciate, the way you build up, or you know, you can downplay it a little bit. Like I'm gonna yeah. fuck your ass. Like the way yeah. that the way that you deliver everything, it it basically creates a new type of persona for the character that maybe you weren't even trying to create, but it's it sounds good. You know, there's there's a yeah, lot of and a lot of times a lot of people don't know. Absolutely, and even for the directors or the writers, you know, they'll obviously have something in mind based on their just instincts of of how they did it or how they originally thought of it when they wrote it. But there's plenty of times, you know, when especially like when I work with someone like Stamper or you know certain other individuals that they just happen to they have like a thing that they they do sometimes where they just they bring things to the table that you wouldn't ever have thought. But you start to understand that that's what their strength is. So that's why you reach out to them. You're like, I'm going to reach out to this person because I trust that they can do this. Now, that's a little dangerous if you have people like improving, because I think that's a really shit way to do stuff. I hate yeah. it when I get a script and it's like, oh, uh, here's the script. And then it's like character improvs, funny line. And it's just like, dude, come on, man. Are you, pay- <laughs> are you, are you what, what are you paying me for here? Like, what? What are we what's really the, doing? What's here? the matter, Mick? You can't be funny, man. What's going yeah, on? Am I right? Am I am I going to get a writing credit on this too? I mean, did <laughs> yeah, you not exactly. know? Did you not know what you wanted said in this scene? Like, what the fuck is happening? But a lot of commercial stuff ends up being like that. They always liked improv, and I don't know. It 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 happens. Um, but I think there are scenarios where if you trust the person and you know, like, you know, like, hey if you could just make up like a funny, you know, you know, like some of those weird wacky things you say, could you just say one of those things here? It's like, if yeah. you understand that the person can do it, then I think it's fine to ask. Yeah, of course. Uh, a good example of this is the new grounds, final Fa- fantasy seven collab where, uh, Jeff, I think Corey, who's Spaz kid, uh, Dave, mm. who's Phantom arcade, they kind of mm. improv their script and added a oh, lot yeah. to the animation. If you, if you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, I exactly. Have, yeah. It's the two soldiers, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And them laughing, oh. them screwing up their lines and just come up with stuff on the spot added a lot of character to it. But that's because they knew that they could get that from each other. Yeah, if you'd put them on the spot and they were just like two guys that maybe knew each other, but, you know, they weren't like great friends or anything like that. And they were like, all right, you guys just improv a scene. It, it would probably be awkward and stilted as fuck. And feel but, forced, yeah. Yeah, it would be, be so forced. But if you've got two people that just naturally know how to talk to each other and they're comfortable, you know, kind of riffing with each other, Obviously, it's going to sound more honest, and it's going to have uh, it's going to have that charm of of genuine personality behind it too. Right, Corey, I'm going to fuck your ass. Oh, are you going to fuck my ass in? Well, I'm going to yeah, fuck I'm going to fuck ass. your ass real fucking. No, you can't fuck my ass while I'm fucking your ass. That doesn't fine. make sense. Well, fine, then I'm going to fuck your mouth. How about that? How about we do that? All right, scene? 
All right, Corey, that's a little too close to home. That just <laughs> that sounded serious. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need you to back up. Right? We'll, we'll go six feet, six feet. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the standards. Right. <laughs> I need I need you to put your dick back in your pants, dude. That was a joke. <laughs> this was improv, Corey. Dude, yeah. I wasn't serious. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> you, you got my heart racing a little bit, Zin. I, I felt a little threatened, so you know I, I had to fight back. You know, you put me in a corner. 